So, I've been playing a lot of modded Terraria recently, and that got me thinking, would it be that difficult to make my own mod? Surely it can't be that hard, right? Even for someone who has never coded in C Sharp and hasn't got the slightest clue about how Tmod Loader works, well, today we are going to find that out, as I am going to attempt to make a mod for Terraria. Okay, so the goal for this video is to create an overpowered sword that shoots out a bunch of projectiles that home in on enemies. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do this, but that's what I want to create. So let's get started. I started off with some Googling to find out how to actually create a mod because I had literally no idea how to do this. Turns out Tmod Loader has a built-in develop mods button that after a few YouTube tutorials, I had finally used to create my own new mod named first mod. Yeah. Real creative, I know. When creating a mod, it generates a template sword that you can name whatever you want. I named it the sword. Yeah, I'm on fire with the names today. Now that I had the mod created, I had to make sure I would actually run. So I loaded up a new save with just that mod and a cheat mod to give me the template sword and it worked. Now, before we continue, Tmod Loader has created a mod called Example Mod, which provides examples of a lot of the items that you would want to try and code in. So I can use those as references for my own code. This helps a lot. So if you ever try modding yourself, definitely give this mod and the GitHub repository a try. On the example mod repository, I found code for a star wrath like sword that rains down stars upon use. I attempted to copy and paste this code into my code, and surprisingly enough, it didn't work. After extensive researching, looking through the documentation on Tmod Loader, and sifting through the example mod, I eventually found out why it was not working. I needed to include two more lines of code at the top of the file. These are called import statements and basically provided the star wrath code with what it needed to function as intended. I then went and had a little bit of fun with different projectiles for a bit. Now that I had that working and I had a better understanding of how it all worked, it was time to figure out how to shoot multiple projectiles from the sword, not from the sky. I couldn't find anything that would tell me how to do this, but eventually I found some code on a Terraria forum post that did exactly what I needed it to. Essentially, this code would loop as many times as you told it to, and each time it would spawn a new projectile at a random rotation and speed based on a small range. And this worked flawless. <clears throat> this worked flaw. Oh, come on. This worked flawlessly. Now that that worked, I had a bit of a play with different projectiles to see what would be the perfect projectile for my sword. I eventually settled on the first fractal projectile, which looked very cool. To match it, I changed the swing sound to this laser sound and bam, beautiful sword. Only problem is the projectiles don't home. So now it's time to figure that out. Using the code from the example custom ammo, which has homing coded into it, I was able to replicate it for my sword, creating a whole new file for the projectile, meaning I had to give it a PNG to use as a sprite. I couldn't find the actual first fractal image, so it ended up with this. Safe to say this looked a lot less cool than the actual first fractal, and the homing mechanism worked, but looked ridiculous. This was definitely not good enough, so I changed the sprite to the sprite from the condemnation arrow from Calamity Mod. This did not improve it in the slightest. However, after some more googling, I found out how to rotate the item so that it would spin. After a bit of tinkering, I figured out how to rotate the item so that it would face the direction of the player. So it's done. Oh crap. There we go. Now that I had all of that working, there's one last thing I need to do. I need to get a sprite for the sword because this basic sprite will not do. I found a cool one online and tried to import it into the game, but the resolution was way too large. So this happened. Oh, that's freaking huge. I could not fix this for the life of me. So I decided to make my own sprite. There we go, a weird looking red laser sword thingy. I imported it into the game and tested it out. Cool, but I want the character to hold the weapon out when it's not in use. Ah, that's it. But the character doesn't have telekinesis, so why is the sword floating? I moved the sprite to the bottom left of the model and that did not fix the issue, but it made it slightly better. After some final tweaks like adjusting the swing speed, damage, changing the display name and making it comically large for dramatic effect, I present to you the Doombringer's Wrath. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed or found this helpful in some way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!